What is going on YouTube and welcome to another episode part two of clocking or indexing the FX impact liner. If you watch my first uh, part of it, how to do it, why you need to index or clock the liner, watch the first episode, link in the description below and index card in the right top corner of the screen right now. Click and not watch it explains why you absolutely have to have it done. Um, if you're chasing any precision shooting, you absolutely must do it. Explanation how I showed how to um, do that. In this episode, we're fine tuning. We're gonna shoot 30 yards, 50 yards, and 70 yards way out there. And uh, the goal of this is um we want to shoot at all these different distances if you watch my first episode you'll understand i explained what happens in there but at any distance i want my shots land along the line up and down the line i don't want them to go left or right as i change the distance for example if i zero at 30 yards and then i shoot 50 yards and then i shoot 70 yards i want that i don't care if it goes up and down that i can adjust with elevation but i want them shots holes landing um Mosquitoes are eating me alive. I want them shots landing all the way up and down the line. If they don't, we're gonna micro adjust the, the, the liner. So if you change the distance, I don't want those shots to um, go left and right. If they do, if you zero at 30 and at 30 it shoots right on the line. And if you shoot 50 or 70 and it starts going to the left or right, it needs to be micro adjusted and indexed. So when you change your elevation and the distance, you're always shooting um, in the vertical line and vertical line can be corrected. The, uh, the windage is the problem. So we're gonna start shooting at 30 yards. I'm gonna put camera in there for you. We're gonna zero at 30, gonna do two shots at the time. Just to confirm, we're gonna shoot two shots. If we land on a line, then we're gonna move to 50 yards and 70 and we'd see, we'll see where our, our part one um, indexing got us and if we need to do some adjustments we'll take care of it right here um in the video i'll show you what you need to do and then the next video probably going to be um comparing the jsb and aea pellets um head to head two pellets at 30 50 and 70 to see where um which pellet is better uh, this is a 30 caliber we're going to shoot 45 grain pellets all right, let's get that, uh, let's get shooting. And if you're not uh, subscribed to this channel, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot, costs you nothing, um, zero cost to you, but it means a lot to me. Um, if I don't get any, you know, return back, you know, what's the point making the videos if no one's watching it or liking or subscribing to it, you know what I mean? So um, today I at um, a different location. This is my sister-in-law's, um, property five acres she's got nice little um ranch in here i probably can reach all the way to 150 yards but i have to clear some forest i can go as far as that tree right now and past that i have to clear some brush so maybe in the future we'll clear out to 100 yards but at this point i can clearly shoot to 70 yards so let's get that shooting on the road all right 30 yards here we come two shots one hole right there 30 yards uh, now we're going to 50 yards all right as you can see it three shots right there I'm gonna shoot 70 now. Shooting top left cross. So what do we have here? This situation is 
slightly off for perfection's sake we're gonna adjust the liner just a little bit we're gonna clock it a little bit to the left okay and we're gonna shoot the 70 line again I wanna I wanna keep moving that liner until I start shooting at 70 in line because I know my 30 was perfect so we're gonna confirm again we're gonna go back we're gonna walk back we're gonna adjust the liner a little bit and try that 71 more time all right so this is how micro adjustments are done <clears throat> we have a piece of wood dowel that <clears throat> fits inside a liner but it doesn't touch that um, knot on the outside we've got a line on the dowel that shows us the the liner location and we have a masking tape with a line in here so we know that they're in line right now before we start unscrewing because sometimes when you unscrew the, the liner inside also twists because this is, has some tension on it so we're gonna unscrew that and we're gonna move just a hair uh, clockwise because we need to go to the left on the target okay we're gonna do that adjustment and then we're gonna try again and we're gonna continue on um, doing that <clears throat> until my 30 yard and 70 yards are lining up in the same vertical line. I think we got it I know I got it okay so this is our 30 yards right here 30 yards and this is where we're shooting all right right in line okay now let's go to 50 50 yards after tweaking with that liner back and forth just a hair I mean it takes like freaking human hair movement this is our 50 yards, 50 right here, 50 yard confirmation, all right, and 70, there you go, this is two 70s right here, all right, so 70 yards, pretty good, now, this is how you micro adjust and fine tune your uh, barrel indexing okay this is what you have to do because if you go to competition or you want to shoot the distance or you're hunting okay your target's going to be moving you know from 20 yards to 100 yards and every time you adjust elevation you don't want that pellet or slug to go to the left or to the right because of curvature of the liner okay so this is how it's done Put a comment below, like, and subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you for watching. More good videos coming up. Looks like I got pretty sweet setup in here. I need to clear out for 100, but that's possible, okay? This is it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which is comparing the GSB 44 grain and 44.75, 30 caliber and AEA pellets, 45 grain. That's gonna be a great video. Uh, stay tuned, I'll see you in the next video. And here's my setup. So you know what I'm, how I'm shooting at and where I'm shooting from. This is it right here. I mean, it's not the competition bench or anything, but it's pretty solid shooting off the sandbags, okay? This is it, thank you next video.